Hello, this is Daniel and welcome to part 4, I think, of the character modeling tutorial series and let's jump right into it and continue to work on this weird looking map. Um, Alright. Yeah, so, so basically what we're going to do here is um, work our way around the mouth with one more loop. Okay, so uh, by the way, I think I will add some some little time lapse parts to this video. So I'm going to speed up a few things to make it easier for you to watch it. Um, I hope you like that. And at this part, notice how this part here goes from the side here. It stays pretty much on the same height. Um, that makes the mouth look a bit better. Uh, let me very quick check on the amount of vertices. Uh, see, it's 11, but I want it to be 12. Um, how do you say that in English? You know, the, those. Um, sorry, I forgot about that, but there are those numbers 2, 4, 6, and 8, and stuff like that. You want to have it one of these numbers. Uh, yeah. It is 12, so you can divide it by 2, so it is alright. Um, that is because, I think it won't be too big of a deal here, but it will be important when we are doing an arm or so, and I'll explain it to you later on. It's not all that important right now. Let's continue here to uh, fill up this, this area. And... Then here there will be one polygon with five edges coming away from it. In general you should try to avoid those but I can tell you right away that it is impossible to create a face without any of those just in case you're trying. You definitely need those to work with topology or else <coughs> yeah, that wouldn't work out so well. Uh, yeah, but in general try to avoid those as much as you can and only place those in positions where there is not so much movement. Um, of course it is hard at some time, uh, some places in the face and it's not so big of a deal either. Uh, just keep it in mind if you can avoid it, but nothing horrible will happen if you still have it in there. Now I definitely want to change this a little bit from the side view. Um, I'll move those a little bit more in and get this upper part more outside like that because that's how the face should look like <coughs> yep that looks good and now let's see how do we continue this um, Let's make this loop follow along this edge and connect it to here. I think that should be good. I hope so. Well, in the end, the most important thing is the shape though, so... <coughs> but following the system mostly gives you a good shape without having to do much, so... Um, I'm reducing a bit the intensity of this fold here because it looks a bit like, too strong. Alright, that should be okay. So you see, I'm constantly actually clicking on some vertices and moving them just a little bit around. And that's the thing you definitely want to get very good and fast at, selecting vertices connecting them, subdividing them, selecting a couple of them and creating faces. Um, I think the faster you get at this, the better, uh, the, the more you will have the chance to correct your errors and the better your face will end up looking. Or at least that's a theory that I have on that topic. Um, yeah, so I think if, if I was going to work really slow 
um, I wouldn't be able to mon my faces this well because I also need a couple of tries on each word tags to um, yeah to make it find the right position oh, let's see actually the, we did a little bad topology here let's break this up again I want this loop to connect to here and let's find a solution for the rest here let's try to go for something like that Oh no, that's not good. Of course, we need a subdivision and connect it like this. Now, that way, you'll have this loop coming from the nose and going to the chin, which is something you want to have. Because if you if you see, look up some anatomy of faces, that's where a couple of muscles go along, and yeah. We'll also implement that into our model. Okay, let's close this and then close that and actually the face will be pretty much done. Just make sure to uh, always have the matching amount of loops here and there and try to close this. Alright, so you see I finished it and it looks horrible right now, <laughs> but that is alright, don't worry about that. Um, because that is always like this uh, whenever I model a face. Now what you want to do is, once you have the structure set up, it is actually pretty... Uh, it just takes some time to adjust things, but in general you don't have the problem that you need to find... You just need to get the shape right. You know, that, that is the thing and, and I think uh, that is doable. So just view it from various angles and try to adjust the parts that don't look so well. Now let's look at the reference only for a second to get an idea of how the face looks. And once you think you understand it, um, you can go back. Just give me a second. I'm basically trying to analyze the shape from just this image and now try to apply this onto this um, mesh. Yeah, let's, let's give it a try. So I think the chin, for example, should be a bit more like this and... Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know what, what to say in these situations. I, I, I think the only thing I can do is tell you a little bit about what I'm thinking and then just show you how I do it. because all I do is basically moving around some vertices. Well, one advice there at this point, um, always try to keep the density of this um, approximately the same. And actually, I admit, this here is not very good topology. Um, however, I think it is all right. It is not too, uh, I mean, this, this kind of thing is definitely not, um, the best way to solve it is to solve um, the, the to, to just model the, the, uh, the shape here but it won't um, be a big problem later on so if you have the time and the patience to work over that uh, try to find out a better way to do it but this is also all right I just don't want to give you the idea that you know everything depends on just the way um, your topology is, because that's not the case. Now to move the mouth, I'm going to select the entire loop and move it a bit up. No, that was way too much. <laughs> yeah, so you see it's, it's slowly getting into shape.
Okay, that is how it looks now after my adjustments. I, and I'll leave you with this um, for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again in the next part.